Hi guys, uh, welcome to my channel. I just woke up just right now and I don't have like that much energy. So in this video today, I'm going to show you my morning skincare routine. Uh, it's been so long since I show you my updated kind of morning skincare routine. So as soon as I wake up, I just, okay, so first let me show you my face. It was my nighttime skincare face and everything has evaporated except for my Laneige lip sleeping mask. Girl, it stays there like for a lifetime. Uh, first thing first, uh, as soon as I wake up, so I'm, I'm gonna wipe my lip sleeping mask a bit because as soon as I wake up, I drink water because my body is dehydrated and uh, I wanna hydrate my body, yeah. You know, the main problem is when you wake up, you don't have the sense what you are talking and you can't get like you can't choose the right words what to say like so hydration part done and now i'm gonna brush my teeth and uh, with this like i really wanted to show you so i i went to my bathroom in the morning first thing and i took this because i wanted to pee okay whatever so i'm gonna go and brush my teeth really quick and i'll be right so i'm back and the problems with this kind of t-shirts is that whenever you are trying to do anything using water this is gonna happen so ignore this and now i am gonna wash my face so i'm gonna show you the face wash the face wash that i am currently using in the daytime because i feel like it is very important to wash your face in the morning because you are using your actives your and if you are using any kind of chemical pills uh, like glycolic acid or lactic acid or anything then you really need to use a face wash in the very morning in the very next morning and obviously a gentle one and the gentle one doesn't mean that i am talking about the cleanse me because it takes literally that much amount to wash my face properly it doesn't matter if it's the morning or the night uh, but with this one like it is it is aquaphorin booster from minimalist it is i would say it is gentle like it is literally so gentle it is dry like it is dry skin friendly but i don't mind i have a uh, combination skin and it suits me pretty well and for me it is like it is literally like the cleanse just like the cleanse me face wash it's so gentle yet it cleanses my skin because um in the morning when you use tons of actives and moisturizer on your face in the next morning you kind of get uh dead skin layer dead skin build up on your face so it is important for you to clean that build up uh, the same uh, goes for our lips too like when we get cracked lips we use thick lip balm or lip jelly or whatever it is lip butter and the next day we see like the skin peels from our lips so the same thing goes for our skin too like yeah i think you get my point so it is very important to use a really kind of gentle uh, face wash in the daytime obviously not salicylic acid because that's what not you should put on your face in the first thing in the morning so yeah i'm gonna go wash my face with this because i'm, I'm not gonna show you the washing technique here so it's gonna be super messy i'll be right back you know the best what is the best part about using face wash in the daytime is that it not only like removes the dirt and the build up from your face it kind of wakes me up like when i use this and then i splash water it kind of opens my cells and like this like when i splash water on my face the water kind of knocks at my cell door and say hey wake up it's morning wake up sweetie okay whatever so now let's get to the skincare journey so in the summer like hottest day of summertime i only use a sunscreen nothing else but now as it is i'm really sorry if you're hearing noises because it's daytime and it's so much tropic in the time I can't remember. so yeah, yeah the, my point was that in hottest summer time i don't use many uh, skincare layers but as it is monsoon now and the temperature is not too much so i can layer my skincare in the daytime too so for the first thing in the morning that i like to use is i like to put hyaluronic acid on my face because hyaluronic acid is, it, it kind of plumps my skin and i like the plumped face all day so um, i just love to so for the hyaluronic acid i'm using this Recteronic toner i know i have used this toner a lot but 
I don't know. I just cannot finish this because uh, first of all, I have so many toners, but I like this one as a morning toner or I don't know. So I'm taking like this much on my palm and I'm patting it. And the key is to pat everything. Just when you pat, you are kind of again waking up your cells and the blood circulations and everything. So always pat. After my toner, I'm jumping directly to my serum. No sense. So for serum, I'm using this uh, Alpha Arbutin Serum from uh, Saturn by GHC. Uh, they, I have made a detailed review about this product and how I am in love with this serum already. Uh, but nowadays, I'm using it only in the daytime, not in the nighttime. Because in nighttime, I'm using my actives such as BHA, AHA, Vitamin C's and all. So let's put this baby on my face. Hello, glowy skin. Okay, as everything is set, now I'm moving to my moisturizer. And for moisturizer, I'm using this Avino moisturizer. I am in love with this moisturizer because it is so lightweight. Okay, this much is enough. So, uh, I don't use moisturizers every single day in the morning. Uh, it depends on my sunscreens. If my sunscreen is moisturizing, like it has ceramides in it, it has hyaluronic acid peptides in it. So, I don't use uh, moisturizers that day. But uh, when my sunscreen's texture is kind of drying, that day I use a moisturizer. And you know what? You don't need to use... You, need, you don't need to necessarily follow these steps every time you are going to use sunscreen like in the daytime i am done with my face and after uh, two or three hours i just reapply my sunscreen i neither touch my face nor wash it i just reapply my sunscreen so yeah mm -hmm. never forget you and now the most important part of your morning skincare routine and i think it is it is the only thing that you should use in your morning skincare routine and the rest it was like uh pump, like it was not that important but uh, it was your choice it is your choice whether you want to include them in your skincare routine or not obviously so sunscreens obviously like it is the most important freaking thing that i want you to put on your face throughout the day no matter if you're indoors or outdoors it is the one thing and you know the amount it is two finger rule uh, more like a coin size amount for your face and neck but don't forget your ears because your ears yeah it got damaged too so um, i have make a detailed review about the sunscreen too you can see it, it's a uh, dot and key sunscreen. Uh, what's wrong with me? It's it's deconstruct sunscreen and it's pretty drying, so that's why I used the moisturizer. But if you're using something like if you're not using this and if you are using something moisturizing, you don't need to use moisturizer. Don't think that my morning skincare routine ends here. You literally need SPF for your lips too. I don't. I don't know. I. I think I have told that. I think a couple of times on my channel already that you literally need uh, like a SPF lip balm. And I'm using this Himalaya Sun Protect Orange Lip Care. But you can use any kind of SPF like the Sebamed one or the Neutrogena one. I think the Neutrogena one is not available in India. But you can use this Himalaya one or you can buy the Sebamed one. It doesn't matter. But what matters is that. You literally need SPF for your lips too and it is it could be the main problem that you got pigmented lips because you are not applying SPF on your lips too so yeah the juicy kind of lips and everything is protected and well and now I am done for my morning skincare routine and I am done for like yeah I like I am ready for the day yeah I'm ready for the day and uh, Throughout the day, I don't wash my face or I kind of avoid myself from touching my face a lot. And um, after three years later, like uh, three years, three hours later, I reapply my sunscreen. And I think currently it's 
yeah currently it's 8 30 a.m so i will reapply my sunscreen at 11 or 11 30 yeah that is my little morning skincare routine i hope you, you enjoyed it and i hope you you learned something from this video so i'll see you guys in the next video don't forget to drink a lot of water and you don't need necessarily everything one spf for your face and one spf for your lip is enough so yeah I'll see you guys in the next video. If you are not subscribed to my channel yet, uh, then please subscribe. And I make kind of many kind of videos, including DIYs, uh, home remedies, um, yeah, so on and so forth. I the main thing is that I don't cook at all right now. Like uh, you, you can't, you can't find any cooking videos on my channel. But if you insist, like if you tell me, I will do that. <laughs> okay, so I'll see you guys in the next video.